the LEGO Technic Libre Crawler Crane LR13000 has finally been posted to the official LEGO website and we can take a much closer look at all of its functions. The first major thing we can see about this massive crane is that it actually uses six large angular motors. Since the regular powered up XL motor has now been discontinued, I guess that this motor is fully replacing the XL one. There are three motors in the top superstructure all stacked together and this setup kind of reminds me of the motor stacking that we had in the 8043 motorized excavator. Of course, the base chassis also gets three motors with its own separate hub. There is one motor for the right track, one for the left track, and a third motor for the rotation of the superstructure. The turning itself is quite smooth and it looks absolutely incredible. There is boom tilt, jib height adjustment as well as the raising and lowering of the massive hook. Something absolutely revolutionary, groundbreaking and legendary is its ability to actually measure the weight that is being picked up by the crane. Essentially it uses the internal gyroscope of the hub that is located in the top superstructure and the hub tilts based on the amount of weight that is being lifted by the crane. I'm so glad that this internal gyro sensor is finally used for something other than simply measuring the pitch and roll of the internal entire model itself. My full in-depth review of this set is coming very soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you are the first one to see this model in action. No pressure though, no pressure. I love seeing all of these pulleys doing their job and this set will certainly be quite educational for understanding exactly how a crawler crane works. The set contains 2,883 pieces, but it is absolutely massive. It stands at over 100 centimeters high, 110 centimeters long, and 28 centimeters wide. So basically, it takes up an entire square meter extruded by 28 centimeters, which is just an insane amount of area that it's going to take up. The counterweights used for the back of the model look absolutely fascinating. I actually often had to use some type of counterweight in many of my own creations, so instead of using a bunch of Power Functions battery boxes, I finally have something more proper. What does concern me about this crane is that at the back, right below the counterweights, we can actually see a pair of LEGO Technic steel balls used to prevent the crane from tipping backward. This is something that does not exist in the real life version of this crane. I'm quite certain that those supports at the back will severely reduce its off-road performance. Something I absolutely love about this crane is that it uses a bunch of brand new Technic frames for the booms of the crawler crane. These pieces are absolutely awesome and they're gonna make building giant LEGO Technic creations so much easier. You can pre-order this item right now on the official LEGO website for $700. I know what you're thinking, that is an insane price. However, something to consider is that this crane had no chance of being around $500. While the Lieber Excavator did retail for $450, LEGO has had a ton of price increases over the past few years. The Ferrari Daytona Beach retails for the exact same price of $450 despite having no electronics at all, and the Cat D11 Bulldozer retails for $500 despite having three fewer motors and one fewer hub than the Excavator. We have to compare this set to the Cat D11 Bulldozer, and the Lieber does get six large angular motors as well as two hubs instead of one. And let's not forget, this set is absolutely massive, featuring a ton of counterweights at the back and many brand new revolutionary functions and pieces. Given LEGO's new pricing model, the $700 cost actually makes sense. I'm not justifying the price tag, I still think that this set is overpriced, but it does make sense. Will this crawler crane simply be another Zetros, that is, a set with many brand new and revolutionary functions, but ultimately held back by its overpriced cost? Let me know what you think in the comments and will you be getting this set? This is your Unbreak Me here and I'll see you in the next one.